Welcome to a special weekend edition of the Retro UK Roundup Show. It is February 9, 2023. I hope you guys have been enjoying the Call of Duty special so far because there's a lot more to come next week. However, tonight, we're tomorrow, we're going to take a quick pause for the Call of Duty and we're going to be doing a um, special weekend for Steam Next. More on that in a moment. We'll also be talking about what's going to happen after the Call of Duty specials. And we have a brand new OC character that I just shadow dropped, in inter interestingly enough. And then what's going to happen after with, with roleplay. Because I've been telling you guys we're going to be roleplaying and we are still roleplaying. But there's a big difference now. I'll explain that in a moment. Let's talk about the schedule for this weekend and next week because next week is going to be the big boy in terms of the event for this week. So like I mentioned, we have tonight DMZ. We're going to be doing the Big Spender Challenge. So Big Spender Challenge, basically I play DMZ normally. I can bring anything I want. The difference here is I have to use the buy station. They never see me use buy stations as much as you normally would during a war zone. So, but for this one, I am going to be using buy station. So I can buy armor plates, the, the vest, all that good stuff that you normally see. So spend money. Don't, don't be um, stingy, basically. Because I'm a li I'm usually am when it comes to DMZ because I want to play it safe. Okay. But that's what's going to be tonight's challenge. Tomorrow, from tomorrow night, however, tomorrow night all the way to Monday. Monday night, we are taking a quick break. And I, I really mean it, a quick break from Call of Duty. And we're going to be doing a few events for the, for the weekend. Tomorrow, we're going to be starting what is called a special edition of our games it's going to be steam next weekend and steam next is a event going on right now that talks about seven days hundreds of demos and oldies of live stream basically that is like their version of what's coming up in the next few months on steam some of the games you're going to see this weekend when we play them are coming out on steam and some of them are going to be coming out on different console so to celebrate indie games this weekend, we're going to be talking about Steam next. More on this in just a moment because we have some games on the board. But back to the board here. Monday, we are going to have a special edition of VR Chat. Okay, special edition. We are celebrating a birthday on Monday. I can't tell you who it is, but I will tell you you have seen him before. In red. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. I will tell you he is a fellow. I have to do this time. Emeru Hunter. Except for one thing. I have to talk about this one thing. We might be changing it up a bit. We are also doing this stream. In vertical format. So if you guys enjoy the vertical test. We're going to be doing it officially. Vertical format. This means vertical highlights too. Coming up soon on YouTube. But I'll be showing you guys that later on. That's Monday night at 5.15. And that particular VR chat is a special. Not only for the birthday. But we're also being um, co-streaming with Vaults the Hedgehog. So that's a co-stream and a vertical and a birthday. So we're going to have some fun on Monday night. Then for one week, um, for one day, for one night only for now, we are going to have Francis the Fox return for one night for one particular stream, and that is Mario Galaxy. It is, it is technically Mario Mondays, so I'm going to give that a, a, a pass for the break of Call of Duty, and that will be 8.45 p.m. Pacific time, but that is the last one before we start our Call of Duty stuff again. Tuesday at 5.30, we're going to have the final DMZ runs of Season 1. This means go all out. There's no more holding back, basically. 
Use your keys, use your contraband weapons, use everything. I will tell you I have a building one building twenty one key card in my in my possession. I have never tried building twenty one. So if you have a building twenty one key card, you have a you have an opportunity to use the building twenty one map. And this will be my first time on that map this season and probably the only time. Now tonight if I get another building 21 key card I can use that for Monday I mean Tuesday if I want to and then Tuesday night Tuesday night is going to be the mission and raid night so we're going to be focusing on the, the, the missions instead of multiplayer we're going to be doing missions and some of those missions re allow you to unlock operators or characters in this particular case so that will be on Tuesday night at 8.45 because they're going to take down DMZ to get ready for Season 2. And then next Wednesday is the big day. It's the day that the Season 2 players have been waiting for. It is Ashika Island. That is the name of our new map that we're going to play when we do Call of Duty stuff. So Ashika Island is the new one for Rebirth and DMZ. For Wednesday, we're going to be focusing on Rebirth because I am planning to co-stream or stream with or play with Gaming with Green, Jimmy Dukes Gaming, Jiffy Gaming X, etc. on Rebirth. So this is one of the only games I'm going to be able to do that with along with Fortnite. And then on Thursday, we're going to be doing DMZ. Friday we're going to be doing multiplayer, Saturday we're going to be doing um, Rebirth with the community, Sunday we are back to normal. In terms of content, we're going to be doing Hi-Fi Rush, it's another game. That game just shadow dropped, meaning there was no marketing, or there was very little marketing I should say. And it's not like Forspoken that had too, many more, too much marketing and look how it did. Hi-Fi Rush, according to a lot of people, has been getting a lot of praise to the point where it's game of the year. We have to check that out for ourselves. So February 19 is going to be Hi-Fi Rush for our indie game night. February 20th all the way to 26th, we're back to normal. Except that we are adding the return of Rust. And I'm talking about the Rust game, the one with the, with the whole survival the survival game. We're going to be doing a beginner server. But that's for this week and next week, guys. That's the schedule plan for that. Now, I do want to um, emphasize um, a little bit of Steam Next. So this is Steam Next. It is a celebration of games that are coming up either between now and in the next few months. So one of the games I have featured here or featured here is called Heist Geist. And it's a card game. It's a card battler kind of thing. And you can check that out. We're going to check that out. We also have some other games like Grim Guardians. We have a game called Atomic Pen Picnic. And we have a game called Dream Fight Will. We also have other games here from Steam Next that are going to be played. I will tell you I have a few of them that we're going to try. For this weekend. Meet Your Maker is also another one that could be doing it. You can build your own base like in Rust. Except there's no PvP. There's there's a game called Humanity Z. Like a zombie game. Co-op. So we can check that out. And some other games that are on the, on the horizon. So this is like an indie game version of E3 in a way. So this is their version of E3, and I'm happy to tell you guys that I am back to indie game playing every Sunday. Okay, so that's what we, we made um, every Sunday. However, there's more. Beyond the Sunday, beyond the, after this Call of Duty special, so we're back to normal February 20th. In terms of content 2019 but there is another special coming up called Mario Mario Maker weekend 
So I actually started making the graphic for what's coming up. I have not officially published this because there are some things that are going to be changed. So, so Maple Story will also make a return to Maple to Retro Yuki Productions under Retro Yuki Productions. VR Chat returns to its normal Tuesday and Thursday timeline after the 18th, but we are going to be doing it horizontally and vertically. Mario Mondays returns on this on the 20th officially with two streams instead of just one that I'm going to be featuring on Monday. Russ is coming back to 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 um to the program and the next official special is going to be Mario Maker weekend March 10 to March 12. It just so happens that March 10 to March 12 is Friday to Sunday. So we're going to return to Mario Maker for 3 days. And in celebration of Mario Day, that's a celebration of Mario Day, because Mario, March 10, if you really spell March, M-A-R-C-H, and then 10, number 10, if you take M-A-R, and then one zero, the way you see it, it's like the word Mario, but with two numbers. So that's why it's called Mario Day. So we're going to be celebrating that for that weekend. Um, if you've never seen Rust before, it's basically build your base, survive. I will tell you guys, it's a lot of fun if you know how you do it. I have built bases before, but I'm going to tell you, I'm a beginner in Rust. Okay, so now that we talked about after 2018, let's talk about what's been going on with Roleplay and Francis the Cat, and the new character Francis the Cat. I'm not going to be spending too much time Francis the Cat though. Francis the Cat is a new OC. Um, going to be um, reacting to DeviantArt just like Francis the Hedgehog. That's all you need to know for now. I'm not going to spend too much time because we do have to talk about something else called roleplay. Okay. This is where it gets a little bit rough, guys. So, that is where it's going to get a little bit sad too. I'm going to tell you now, it's not going to be easy. So a few days ago during the R chat, obviously we had a little bit of a sad news, if you will. And I put it up on the community tab on that same night. It was yesterday. I put it yesterday, actually. <laughs> so I said, as discussed during the VR chat stream tonight, we are disbanding the Emerald Hunters for now. And I say for now. There have been things going on, and it has been rough for the last few weeks. I should say weeks, not nights. This does not mean no VR chat content. Obviously, we're streaming VR chat, so so don't worry about the VR chat content. That's still staying. We are still doing VR chat live, just not Emerald Hunters for now. I might try a mini role play series, but we will see. Next VR chat live is Monday, February thirteenth, in both horizontal and vertical format. So let me explain this whole mini series thing. I am in talks with a few pep members or a few of our buddies here. We are trying to do a series for VR chat live, not live, but role play. But we are going to cut the cut the number of cast. Like we're not going to have a huge group for this. I think. What happened with Emerald Hunters a few days ago was the result of a few incidents, but then there's another thing we have to understand too. Back in October 2020, no, back in 2021, I remember 2021, we started Emerald Hunters as a small group. Now, everybody got interested, and I understand there's a lot of interest when it comes to role play. And I'm no exception. I love role playing. Here's the caveat. I think we started growing too fast and too quickly. Okay, I would be because at that one point we had over 10 members. Then 11, then 13, then 15, then it went back down to 11, then it went back down to 9, then it go up to 11, then it go back to 9. And so on and so forth. With several things going on, I think we went too fast. 
and and when we go too fast, everything goes move fast. So with this one, with this new roleplay series in the works, it is a small one. It's not a mi it's I I would have I should have not said mini, because I don't think this would be a mini one. But my point is, we grew too fast too quickly. I mean, we grew too much too quickly. While a lot of people would be nice, because we're still beginners at the role play portion of VR chat, I think we should have kept it small. So here's the deal with the new one. There's going to be familiar faces, definitely, for sure. You're going to see familiar faces that you always see in VR chat live. All I'm going to say is it has a lot of wolves in it. That's it. There's going to be a lot of wolf wolfies in there. So, so Francis the wolf, expect him. We might even have another wolf wolfy coming in. So you never know. But for now, I cannot tell you what it is. All I'm going to say is look out for the next few days. That's all I can say, because I don't want to start um um like um putting it up there and all of a sudden anything here can happen. So I'm gonna wait, talk with my group, and then I'll let you guys know what the board is. Now, when that roleplay series does come officially in fruition, then I'm gonna explain <laughs> that. Due to roleplay, we're gonna cancel streams. But for now, there are no cancel streams. I just had to move it for the schedule. Okay, now that I got that out of the way, um, let's talk about um, Mario Weekend. Mario Maker is gonna be the focus there, but it's only for three days. Um, other things to note. The website has been in a big a bit of a lull because of no new roleplay content officially. But once this new roleplay series is on the board, then I'm gonna re-update the website again. Okay, so that's what's been going on if you have not been able to witness the website update. That's what's going on there. I cannot update the website unless we are doing roleplay because that's what I'm doing it for. Okay. Okay, now I do, however, want to touch on one other social platform, and that is called TikTok. Because we are on TikTok officially. And I would like to present that to you. If this is our TikTok right now, it's RetroYuki, at RetroYuki. And I do have one called RetroYuki. Gaming. Okay. I've noticed, however, on YouTube when I go YouTube Shorts, it gets a lot less likes. Especially with Call of Duty. But I'm not, I am not, um, like, I'm not surprised. But when I did a VR chat one, everybody enjoyed it. So obviously, that was a difference maker. Here's what's going to happen for VR chat material. We are going to be doing that's why we're doing live verticals. Flips are, are going to be a lot easier. Okay, so get ready for that. The clips are going to be a lot easier to play with. And then we got like other stu stuff going on. Now, will we be able to go live on? TikTok. The answer is no as of right now. And that's only because we don't have 1,000 followers yet, as you can see. By rule, you're supposed to have 1,000 followers. But here's my, here's the thing that I want to present. This is why we're doing live verticals on VR chat, at least on YouTube. I'm planning to see when we transfer that to TikTok, how are we going to do? What is the presentation going to be like? Okay, that's why we've been testing verticals. Okay. 
Now for Retro Yuki on the TikTok, it's going to be mostly VR chat. I'm only going to be posting gaming stuff if it relates to other stuff. But Retro Yuki Gaming will be the one for you. Which is looking like this. So this is the Retro Yuki Gaming one. Okay, I might live stream on TikTok for a test run. But that's on mobile, I think. Okay. So a lot of stuff to look forward to. And I cannot wait to bring it out. Especially next week. Okay. So make sure you guys take a look at everything. Have fun with that. Um, I will tell you Francis the Cat material will come um soon and Francis the Hedgehog reacts to deviant art and other channels will return after um during next week. I'm gonna wait I'm gonna hold off. Um the Valentine's Day um special for Francis the Hedgehog is still gonna go on. Um yeah it's still going to be going on. It's gonna be a video for this section right here. We're gonna be re focusing on relationships. Okay, and then we're going to be back to reaction videos next week, and Mario Galaxy as well, and Mario Maker, and all that jazz. That's all for now, hopefully you guys enjoyed all the content coming up soon, enjoy, and we'll see you guys tonight at 5.30 for DMZ Big Spender Challenge. And then I'm going to announce the games for the Steam next weekend starting tomorrow. Enjoy, and I'm going to have some fun looking for games for you guys to look at.